Oh my god. Fuck. Hello everyone, MG Doom here. It's been a while. So I hope you're all doing well. I hope you all been well. Last year I played F1 Manager 22 and I did quite well until I wasn't well anymore. <laughs> So this year we're gonna try the same with F1 Manager 23. So let's get into this. Formula One, the pinnacle of motorsport. With a global audience and drama to match, all the attention is now on race circuits around the world. Waiting for the start of the fastest show on earth. Last year's regulation changes saw closer on track battles. Anyone expecting a smooth ride from the 2023 season is in for a shock. With a shake-up in the paddock, resulting in the signing of several new team principals, F1 is primed and ready to light up the world stage. Team principals will already be talking tactics, boosting the confidence of their drivers, and ensuring their pit crews make those box times as tight as possible. With a new era of racing now well underway, more teams than ever will be vying for points, podiums, and a chance at the championship. This is Formula One. Okay, I thought about this for a while, over which team I should be choosing, and I come to a conclusion that there is one team on the grid that doesn't get the kind of success that people are hoping from it. I'm going to try that very team, and that team is Ferrari. Now, even if it's Ferrari, okay, if I fail, it's kind of expected, let's be honest. If I succeed, that's a good thing. So we're going to go with Ferrari. Hopefully, I'll do right by them, which I don't know they can do. Okay, uh, what are we going to name? The phone name is going to be, obviously, my channel name. Uh, <laughs> I mean, the surname is too. They're not going to survive. They're not going to survive. <laughs> okay, experience. Wait, why can't I click this? Okay, I am returning. First time returning experience. Yeah, let's go for returning. Start a new game. Let's see. Hi, I'm Audrey, one and of she's the team back. engineers. I'll be on hand to help as you refamiliarize yourself with how things work and show you what's new. Okay, thank you, thank you. Here at Ferrari, we came so close last season. Taking home second in both championships. We did not, is not to come be close. At, but you know we're never going to settle for second best. Yes. I hope you're as ready as we are to reach the top of both tables this year. Absolutely. Okay. It does feel like they simplified the UI. I don't think we need to make any changes. I mean, it's Ferrari, so I'm still gonna have a look and get back to it. So I had to look around. I looked around everything here and there just to get a bit updated. They have changed a bit and Audrey basically instructed me about everything. So I think I'm gonna invest a bit into facilities and helipad because it makes sense. Like it's sponsor payout increases and it's not that costly of an upgrade. These two I'm gonna increase to maximum. That's the target. And one weather center upgrade because I want a bit of accuracy. In terms of staff, race simulator, I think I'm gonna leave everything there. Car development is fine. CFD, I kinda wanna upgrade it but it's like 10 million. You know what, let's do it. Scouting. Do I, I actually want to see something? If I scout a driver and change teams, will I still have the stats? That would be amazing. So, who do I want to scout? I want to scout a young driver. That, that sounds so bad. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna scout a young driver. Um, Pocher, Theo Pocher, where is he? He was like one of the best last year. I'm gonna scout him detailed why the hell not you have time i just want to see what it happens when i change teams at the end of the season and i am gonna change teams at the end of the season within one season that's why i'm playing ferrari first tommy smith jack tune yeah he could be a good shout out who else is there oh liam lawson i'm gonna do it i'm gonna scout him as well you know just for the heck of it staff let's look at the development training what is training ability to affect uh, and develop the skill of the team the higher the rating the faster pit crew develops now what improves pit stop times i need to have a look at this i feel like uh, aptitude and processes might be really important because this improves the skill a higher rating means a higher upper limit to the pit crew's potential which is important develop and refine like this is gonna reduce fatigue and i just noticed something which i was doing where, where did that go fatigue is like really dangerous <laughs> the pit crew are of like the pit crew development plan 
The pit crew will always just bear See, in mind that she remember, doesn't shut up. Once you're happy. I actually noticed something that if you get it too high, this increases. So I want to stay like in this green bar. At least that's what I feel. I hope that like makes things faster. So I think I'm going to invest into his aptitude and processes. Which one is that? Oh, it's this one. Industry standards. Okay, uh, race engineer, communication. I mean, they have great affinity. There's no point in doing that. So feedback and composure. But what is composure actually? A higher rating means less driver confidence, loss from negative events on track, and more driver confidence from gain. And they have added driver confidence this year. So yeah, it makes sense. They both have great affinity. It's the same thing. Oh man, his feedback is like 78 for a Ferrari race engineer. He, he should be getting fired. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're gonna keep him. We're gonna keep him. And Diego, he's like really highly rated. His cooling is bad. Should we invest into cooling? You know, I mean, temperatures are a thing this year, so I want like cooling DRS Delta and drag reduction in the same one. Is there anything like that? Oh yeah, there is. Airflow intake. We're gonna go with that. And technical chief. His chassis is low, sideboards, and suspension. It's bodywork. Is there anything else that I... I mean, ground effect does make sense. Ultimately, you're in, brewing the underfloor, but it's already at 98, so it's, it's going to be, like, high. So I'm going to go with bodywork. Now, let's go with driver development. Antonio. Well, I'm not putting him in the car. He's not a young driver anymore, but you need to improve his pace. So it's going to be corning breaking reactions. You can't get all three of them. Yeah, let's go for short runs. Hopefully, he gets selected in DTM or something. <laughs> Shouldn't say that. Okay. With Carlos' stats, what does Carlos lack? Smoothness. Oh, his smoothness is 79. Adaptability is less. Hmm. Accuracy and control are great. No, actually, yeah. Accuracy, control, smoothness, and adaptability. What does have these things? Oh, there is wet track. Wet track has all of the four. Okay. Let's go with that. What about Charles? Wow, that's a really high stats. Reactions are 86. Accuracy is high, control, smoothness. I'm gonna do wet track with him as well, just so to push him in the 90s. Okay, we're set. I should design some parts, I think. Mm, underflow, definitely. The most, I'm gonna design three parts, I think. Yeah, let's leave it there. 2.0, how much do we want here? Yeah, 24, that's fine. Should I reduce a bit of weight? Honestly, like just a tiny bit. Okay, I'm just gonna reduce it by one flex. And it's not gonna make a massive difference. Seven to four to seven races to four to eight races. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna put four engineers here. Normal. Oh my god. 4.3 mil. Design has gotten really costly. Really, really costly. Okay, the next is we want a new rear wing. Definitely. Also, reduce a bit of weight here. I mean, they have definitely balanced out the cash flow because of how easily you could upgrade last year. And we're gonna make a new front wing. No, I'm getting too many big upgrades. I should get a smaller one. Hmm, how is the team's cooling, engine cooling? Yeah, we're gonna get side bottom. Okay, there we go. And there we go. We got three upgrades coming very quickly. Underflow, wait, underflow comes in 33 days? That's quick. That's so quick. That never happened before. Let's move forward. Okay, we're actually gonna upgrade it immediately. I want more money from sponsor payouts. Pit crew development schedule. Okay, I need to have a look at this. How does it work? So, after putting in some work, I made a custom calendar, which actually is very good. And look at this, the pit stop time is reduced by a tenth. Trust me, that is huge. In Formula 1, that is huge. We're improving almost everywhere, but we're not losing anywhere, but we are improving everywhere. Carpet leak time, slightly faster. Chance of mistakes drops slightly, but pit stop time is reduced by a tenth. Man, it took me an hour to do this. <laughs> an hour. I'm going to remember and, you know, I'm going to screenshot this so that I can uh, later on learn from this. So gym training reduces pit stop time. This is like the way to go. This reduces chances of mistakes. Car buildings basically reduce, think, uh, you know, remaking the car or something. I don't know if that's gonna be useful, but let's move. Confirm. Okay, here we are at the bar in Grand Prix, and I need to set performance targets. Now, obviously, we're Ferrari, so both cars have to be in Q2. There is no, and both cars have to be in Q3 as well because it's Ferrari. It's very simple. Performance guarantees finish position. Do we get the first slap? Is that possible? Hmm. You know, might as well try for it. What's there to lose? Okay. Finish position straight. 
top six five you know i'm gonna reduce it just in case top eight one car five times we're not gonna put too much pressure so that we can accomplish this and we're gonna go into Bahrain Grand Prix. I think I've done everything there was to do. We still have 17 million and a hat. And I actually look up a bit online. Money is important this year because apparently even manufacturing costs a lot because I went into car development manufacture. I just tried to like make these, where, where is this suspension that they give you at the beginning? I mean, I'm only gaining like 0 0.01 here, 0 0.01. But the moment I meant went to manufacture like three more that's nearly a million this was not the case last time <laughs> and last time i did do a lot of emergency manufacturers i don't think i'm gonna do that this year <laughs> oh okay let's move on ever i'm not gonna do that ever wait do we put like uh this suspension on one car but there's only one i mean let's leave it there we're gonna, just gonna make a new one so let's move on with the weekend a very warm welcome to you all thank Go you just okay for practice one i think i'm not gonna touch the setup i'm just gonna see based on last year i know it's gonna be towards the straights but i am gonna do like a 30 lap run plan because that was pretty common last year and we're just gonna try to nail the setup save everything and save the tires the engine everything for the race and we're just gonna get into practice one yeah let's do that okay we send both cars out i'm ready to check ready to check yeah all good all clear just ready gonna... to check with the steering wheel copy loud and clear oh wow look at this camera Just gonna enjoy one lap. I just wanna enjoy one lap, one lap in this camera. I just wanna see, okay? Here we go. Nice. I wish like they had a bar here that increased and went to one instead of appearing and disappearing. First practice went pretty well. Considering we were on hearts and we were basically we were just getting the setup. Whenever ready, you that's manage it. practice yourself, use the time to experiment with the balance of the car. Oh. And make sure you give the drivers long enough on track to feed back on their car setup. I'm a returning manager. I know that much. Okay, let's go on to practice two and see what we can do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It does look like okay. His confidence is at 89. Do I want to go any higher? Like, do I want to be perfectionist and get it any higher? Because I know I can, but yeah, I don't want to do this. Let's leave it at 89. I kind of want to leave everything a bit more natural. I don't want to upgrade unrealistically, do stuff unrealistically. 70 laps, I think, can go towards the end. 70 kilos of fuel goes to the end. 
so yeah let's put him on a medium 70 kilos of fuel and let him go to the end like that's all he has to do charles we just need to nail his setup and we're good to go with him as well so let's move on okay charles had the fastest time because i made him push the end and we did a lot of laps, 37 laps. Nobody has done that. I mean, realistically, you see like 24 laps in Formula One. You've never seen 37 that often. They have improved our parts knowledge and track as well. So setup is fine. I don't want to go any further. It's fine. Okay, I have to see what I can do for... I want to use a soft in B3. FP3 and uh, yeah, same as before. Long run. Uh... 70 goes like to the end 70 69 yeah like this is six from 65 to if you go from 65 to 70 you're gonna go to the end kilos if you're trying to do like a full run in a race okay just make sure you save your full fuel don't push it and yeah let's finish fp3 and then we can go into poly We are down, but doesn't matter. We're so fast, but this is what I wanted to achieve. We are at 90% in both the places. Car parts knowledge is high. That is the good point I didn't focus on. Sets, you know, setup, setup satisfaction. Okay. See, both have high confidence. We'll go with that. I think I'm gonna do like very simple for qualifying. I mean, we are Ferrari, so we should be getting through in one run. And that's my plan. We're just gonna do one run. Yeah, let's just do one flying lap. Let's do one flying lap, it makes sense. Here we go. So here we are, we're gonna send both of them out. I think five seconds is a big gap. Let's see how both of them do. Here we go, Sainz is the first one. And then the second one is Leclerc. Let's see what time Sainz sets up. There he goes. We are in front. Can go. Track is clear. Track is clear. Yeah, I found a Will really mode push for last corner. Really sweet spot, like a clear track. His confidence is also high, which is a good thing. So he set a 27.6. What about Charles? He's slightly faster. We just need this one lap. You know. Tire temps look okay. Just good thing. What is the second? 46. What about Charles? What? Wait, what? He lost time? Yeah, he lost time. He lost two tenths. Okay. Not bad. He went P3, so... Tire management. Let's see yeah. how it goes to the end. Charge on. Kobe. 
and we need to take care of these tires. Perfect. Charles on P4. He is four tenths behind. We need charge Science. button on. Copy. I've heard that radio <laughs> in real life. The Q2. Wait, what? Why is there not a lap time difference in a used tire? And there isn't. I think I'm gonna cheat the game here. Okay. Same. One flying lap to the end, towards the end. I'm gonna find a clean spot again and do the lap from there. Here we go with Charles, the first lap. And the track is clean. Hopefully nobody comes out in the way of signs. And track this, is clear, track clear. His tires are still cold. Charge button off for last corner. Charge button off. You can push. Good. Why are their tires like why were their tires still cold? This doesn't make any sense. Wait. I might have made a mistake here. Depends on science for sector. 27 4. Oh thank god. I thought signs, when I switched signs to manual control, I thought like, I really finished him, but no. What is Charles middle sector? Forty-six. What about signs? Slightly slower. Signs is slightly slower. But not like massively. This lap looks good. It's gonna be P2. There we go. There we go. Signs is gonna be P3, I think. Take it easy there. They're pretty close on that map. Charge button on. So we have to see how this goes to the end. Not, not going out again. Not going out. Copy. This is what I mean. Like the radio calls are too frequent now. I want to do something about the radio. I'm, I, I'm gonna check out settings after this. We got through Q2 as well. Now we go for Q3. We're gonna with the with the use set first, then later on I'm gonna go for the I'm gonna send out immediately. Just to set a banker lap. Yeah, currently P1. Yeah, I'm gonna do manual control next time. They don't warm up their tires towards the middle of so the lap. Yeah, P1. Okay, I might have put this up a bit too late, so hopefully <laughs> I haven't screwed myself. Okay. Yeah, I might have. Oh. You know what we're gonna see? I'm not gonna push because actually I want to try something, but I feel like. Oh no, they're gonna make it. They're gonna make it. I was worried. Okay, let's go. So. Let's see what this lap is going to be. Twenty-seven three, Charles. Twenty-seven five. No idea why. What is this lap time? Forty five.
What? Oh. What's going on? Why is sign slap time so slow? Okay, Charles and P2, which is a good thing. Signs didn't improve. How is there like such a massive difference? 31.3 and Science is 31.9. There's a six tens difference when there was literally no difference in Q2. Okay, let's move on with the race. So I'm gonna put Charles on a two stopper and I'm gonna make him push because he's like at the front and I'm gonna put signs on one stopper. I'm gonna see if he makes it to the end. I think probably there's one thing I wanna see like softs to medium. I think this is like a possible strategy as well. Yeah, if I like go for this, this is definitely possible. Let's put him like softs to mediums. Instead of softs to hard, soft to medium makes more sense. And Charles is gonna go softs, medium softs, and he will be able to push for the entire stint, hopefully. We don't overheat his tires. Everything looks fine. Yeah, let's start the race. Let's make the push. Here we go with the Bahrain Grand Prix. And it's lights out, and away we go. Charles. He got a great start. He got a great start. Come on, push. If a driver is entering a battle situation, I don't care. So deployed, deployed. There that is more like it. That is more like it. Keep going. Push. Get away. Uh, I don't think he's gonna get away. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I don't think he's gonna get away. Yeah, I think it's impossible. He has not gained a single thing any corner. Science is also doing pretty well here. It's fine, it's fine. Try to keep it up. And we need to look after these tires. Yeah, okay. Here's the RS. Copy. Try to keep it smooth. Yeah, could be. I mean, it's fine with Charles, I think. Okay, it is overheating. And tires are good to push. Copy that. DRS enable. 
Trying to figure out P8. P8. Now they see Alcon in front. Let's concentrate. Just take care of the tires for the moment. Yeah, good. The stain is DRS. Stain is DRS. Oh no. No, man. Look at the tires. It always pays. Okay. Shut. Man, this person doesn't understand. Don't disturb it during races. What are you doing? Might be a chance. Okay. On. Charles just needs to stay in his DRS. That's all he needs to do. Charge button off. Yeah, and we need to look after these tires. Copy. Fine with Status. Man, the radios. And we need you to take care of the tires. Copy. Charge button on. What is what is with the radios? Copy. What's going on? Why is there so much kapapa? So lap 14, Sainz has moved up, he's chasing Stroll now, uh, I mean 
Lonzo. Keep pushing. And Charles is also doing well. He's staying with Verstappen. And Perez is getting closer. I don't know if Charles's Charles's strategy is gonna work. It is a two-stopper. I'm really confused if it's gonna work or not. button on copy don't fight him here don't be stupid be clever this guy come on <laughs> okay pushing Okay. We'll get him. No, it's fine. Keep you don't need to like get this. him. Should I put Charles on a two-stop? I don't know. I'm gonna be honest. Like, I'm really confused because... He's going to come out like really, really behind a lot of people. 10th. Estimated position is 10. And charge button off. Yeah, go here. Hunting time. Oh no. And slow down now. Okay. Oh, thank God. Charge on. <laughs> this is my point. Like, look at how many radio messages I'm getting. It's almost insane. Charge off. Copy. You know what, I'm gonna put Charles on a two-stopper. Let's see how it goes. My God. 
We definitely don't have the pace to overtake Red Bull. He's not even catching him in DRS. He's staying in his DRS. We need to save tires in high speed. We're looking at turn 11. Pushing a bit too hard at this point. The car's coming together right there. Now their confidence will have taken a hit with that. A few moments later. Guys. We are looking. I can't believe this. I can't believe this has happened. Ah. We have to put him on a two-stopper now. Or do we? Box. Carlos, box. Yeah, box. It's like Ferrari definitely are doing she what Ferrari does. We've got signs making the pit stop. And f***ing it. And they can't lower the jack. What? What is this? <laughs> What's going on? Oh. Lift off. Copy. Just push. Push and get them out of their DRS. There is no gap. What do you mean close that gap? First up in it now. Oh, no, no, you gotta pit, you gotta pit. You gotta pit the mediums. Now. And box now, box. box. Deployed, deployed. Yeah, yeah. Okay. push this lap. We're gonna come out in front of a snap and and science is not breaking away from Sonoda, which is bad news. Which is like really really bad news. Charles Button on. Copy. Can go tire management. Copy that. What about Bottas? Can speed it up a bit. Okay. Charles Button off. Kobe. Man, Kobe. shut up, man. You guys are distracting so much. I need you to increase lift and coast. Kobe. You know what? Mets his pit stop as well. 
Xbox. Copy. Will be closed in pit exit. Yeah. There is Verstappen. Stick with him, stick with him. Oh no, he's not. Keep pushing. Yeah, I lost the car. Keep pushing. Get off it. Science's weekend is not now, going. Now we're watching Carlos Science here. Nothing wrong so far. Just very wait. Heavy on the brakes. Now very they good. did leave it very late. Nice, 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 nice. No lift off needed. Let's see what happened there. Five. The straight here. Can they squeeze by? Now he just waited. Just chill out. Just check out the scenery. Everything looks good. And charge button off. Man. Charge button off. They gotta do something about these radios. If science can get in the top 10, it would be amazing now. Which I think he can. Alonso is gonna go to the mediums to the end. That is the strat that I was on until he like finished my rear wing, see? Yeah, pay that penalty, but I don't think it's gonna make a difference. And charge button on, charge button on. Yeah, Look up the tires. Charge button on. So the race is so far. Charles has settled in P2. Science is P16, lap 22. Let's see where we're gonna be at the next pit stop phase. I don't think, I mean, I would be surprised if Leclerc loses P2. That's like what I'm gonna say. Science, it would be amazing if Science could get in the top 10 now. Charge button on. Nice shot, So here we are towards the pit stop phases. Perez came. And he passed like there. Like he just gained pace out of nowhere. The good thing is that we still have one podium. And we need to increase pushing status. Copy that. Science. Should go towards the end, we'll see. P8 is what we can expect from him most. That's it. No lift off needed. You are doing a good job. Copy. We can undercut Paris if we. And we need to increase lift and coast. Copy that. I'm gonna pit him next lap. Yep. And Perez just beat it now. 
Yeah, that's why we're going now, even though it's a bit late. Box now, box. Box. Okay. Wait, Red Bull did a double stop. Don't screw this. Don't. And watch for traffic with Pirith. For Here more we are on the second Here last lap. The problem is science's fuel, which is pretty under. I'm gonna make Charles push on the last lap. No lift off needed. You are doing a good job. So that we get the fastest lap. Come. Honestly, from the first race. Not the kind of result I expected. I cannot pass, guys. It's too difficult. I'm trying everything. Keep pushing. So, deployed, deployed. Copy. Oh my god. Last lap. Yeah, that's amazing. That's just amazing. Pressure on it. Oh, wait. Charles closed up to Perez. How? I must have missed something. This is what happened. We're that watching the Ferrari. Was nice. It's certainly inviting. And Leclerc moves on up. over the finish line and today's winner. Boss this lap. Second flag. P2. 
the pace was uh, really, really good. Congratulations. Amazing job. He said there's more like for the for performance. You can get that, come on. Can confirm, lift off. I mean, how is this fair? Alonso causes him in a penalty, Alonso gets a penalty, crashes him and goes to P5 and Sainz goes to P P11. But it was Sainz's own fault, you know, he locked up. And he can't even get a point. Uh, oh. Take it back. What a race. And P11, P11. Difficult one. That was a, a tough one. Yeah, that was a tough one for you. Now, isn't that the kind of drive we love to see from Charles Leclerc? No, we want P1. What a fantastic result for the team who got everything right for this podium. They deserve nothing less. Pure relation there as the driver regroups with a team that works so hard to see this moment. And the Monegasque driver certainly proved his worth with a terrific drive today. And that was only their first race, Crofty. What a dream start to life in Formula One. What? And we've certainly kicked things off in style here at the Bahrain Grand Prix. He's not... Like Charles has been in Formula One for so long. As far as Ferrari are concerned, Karun, how do you think they'll be feeling after that race? The other side they is empty. Be pleased to have made the podium. A job well done for sure. Yeah, let's move on. Okay, that was quite a result. Charles did as expected. I did expect him to be in P2. Carlos. You know, Carlos basically locked up and lost five positions, and at the end, he was those five positions behind, which tells you basically how his race went. He did sabotage himself in terms of drivers, Max at the front, and Red Bull at the front, Esther Martin's P2. I think we can salvage something from this next weekend, so it won't be that bad in terms of pit stops. We did have a pretty fast pit stop with Charles, not the fastest, but towards the fast end. We are there and his pit stop issue was with lowering the car. They couldn't lower the car. So, that was nice. What did I lose? Oh yeah, race bonus, he got a race bonus, nice. Race bonuses have been reduced, which is a good thing because he had to pay like a million a race. That was the first episode. The first race of Formula One. Let's look at Formula Two. Iwasa is like a run that's good. F3, Trident, Gabriel, not going to pronounce that. Okay, that was nice. Our inspection. That was a nice start to the season. Not the best ones, but that was a fun race. So I hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you guys next time in the next race in Jeddah. Till then, take care of yourself. Goodbye, and I'll see you guys. Boys, I'll see you boys, I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>